What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. We're back on the Upper Left Submissions Reddit today, checking out your guys' projects. I've been trying not to sneak and take a peek at all the stuff on here. I wanted to genuinely be surprised, and so that's what we're doing today. We got 52 members, and I'm pretty sure we got a lot of posts. So we're going to go to new, and we're just going to jump right into it. We're going to try and get through it as quick as possible, because I think we have probably more submissions than I can fit into one video, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's start here. Boom. Jason's RCs. He has a YouTube channel as well. Pretty sick. Let's see what this is. SCX 24 build and deadbolt motor upgrade. Still waiting on more parts. Well, let's see what you got, man. So, <clears throat> looks like we got a sweet gravedigger body of some kind. Or maybe just an old Dodge panel wagon, but it looks like the gravedigger style. Got the upgraded and modified deadbolt over here with some sick tires, wheels, brass, servo, all that jazz. We got, oh, we've got a Fury Tech. Looks like the Lizard. Special housings. Got the brushless uh, motors. This whole setup right here looks an awful lot like what I've seen on two FMRCs. He has a sick deadbolt build with this thing. We got some more RC four-wheel drive um, wheels here. We got another parts donor if we need it or another new one that is pretty sick. And then we got this one right here as well. Guys, speaking of Fury Tech, I know I'm not trying to slow anything down, but I've got the Fury Tech Lizard and you can't even see it. I got two Fury Techs here, all the parts and stuff. We're going to be doing a video on that build very soon. And it's really exciting to see Jason is doing the same here. This is a sick setup. Love the Bigfoot, man. Pacific Northwest right here, baby. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next. Nice job, dude. Upvote for you for sure. And next we've got by Might7309. Good old C10 with underglow and interior. All right, all right. Let's check it out. Got a pretty awesome flex photo here. It looks like you've got maybe some limiting straps right here for this insane articulating suspension. Love the underglow. Very, very cool. Got some wheel weights in there I can see. Little skid plate, you got this thing modded pretty hard. I'm digging it. Another flex test. Oh, Emacs servo. I'm telling you guys, it's the best one out there. So good. Hopefully, this is working out for you, bud. Love that you got the... I'm pretty sure these are Baja Claws as well. Stacked up right here instead of on the truck. I like running those, but man, they got some gnarly grip on them. I tell you what, they're almost too good. And then, of course, the scale Lego guys inside. So fun. Great to see you taking advantage of some Lego guys. They fit in there great. My uh, father did the same thing with his Jeep, and I'm going to get that on the channel soon so we can take a look at it. Oh, upvote. If I miss an upvote, I swear I'll go back and get them at the end of the, after I film. What do we got here? SCX24 Rat Rod Monster Truck TRX4 with Trex and Red Cat Gen 8. Woo! Big photo. Let's go full screen. What do we got going on? Oh, hey, oh, oh, what's this? Commercial? Okay. What do we got here? Who's this guy? Is this you? This must be you. Uh, what do we got here? This is a SCX24 with a sick rat rod body, like he said. I love that you mounted the motor on top of the ESC. Got some monster truck tires here. That's pretty sick. Vape Nation, apparently. All right, cool, cool, cool. It's healthier than smoking, that's for sure. It's super glue right here, Duracells. Boom, this guy's an RC guy. That's what you need. Got the Jeep in the background. Looks like it's stock for now, but man, you got some cool stuff coming up, coming along here. Got some flowers up here too. Oh, maybe that's the wife. Maybe that's a girlfriend. Who knows? Got to keep it fresh. Looks like that's one of those uh, <laughs> the scent blaster things. I swear whenever those are in bathrooms, they spray as soon as I walk in and they get me every time. What else we got here? Looks like a couple more photos, different angles. Okay, okay. Let's take a gander. Oh, little front clip. Nice. It's an old Ford. Very cool. Love the Ford. It's got the... This looks like the oil-filled suspension for the... What are those called? Charisma. Those look like the oil-filled Charisma shocks. They might be on that thing. Got some more goodies back here. Got some wheels and tires. These are the RGTs. Yep. Well, these ones are. These, I don't know what these are. They look cool. What's this say? Rel uh, nah, I can't read it. That's all right, though. Sick, dude. Sick. Got the power drill in the back. Gotta have the power drill when you're working. And another one with the full-size rat rod. This thing is really, really awesome, dude. Nice work. This looks sick. Sweet little rat rod monster truck. That's that's 
an awesome, awesome build, man. Great job. Love the pinstriping and stuff. I don't know if you painted this. It may have already come painted, but it's a great body to throw on there, and I'm surprised at how well that fit. Upvote for you. What do we got next? And that was from... Did I read his name? Cathead RC. Next one, Honda Man for life. Oh, what do we got here? This looks cool. So this is a modified Jeep body. Did the little chop top. Love that. It looks like a commander now or whatever those new trucks are called. Got the carbon fiber frame or faux carbon fiber frame. Some treal bead locks on there. This thing's sick. Sitting on the uh, the dash of probably the Honda. If he's Honda for life. <laughs> That's an awesome little mod, and I love the cutout. That is so cool. Such a great way to give a truck a new look. Very awesome. Flex. Flex life. <laughs> All right, next we got Honda Man for Life again. Flexing on the rocks this time. Let's see. My Jeep, tru Jeep turn truck for amazing LCG benefits. Low ground clearance or low center of gravity. Uh, looks pretty cool, too. I am inclined to agree with you, my friend. That is a sick, sick modded truck. I like how it kind of has that tonneau cover look with whatever this is. Cut a little piece of plastic to fit. Got the yellow paint to match. You even tied it in in the body to make it look legit. Painted fender flares. Dude, very, very good. Awesome, awesome detail. You did a great job here. Really impressed with this truck. I like that a lot. And what a nice place to go rock climbing. Beautiful background. Very, very cool. Upvote for you, my friend. What do we got next? We got Rowdy310 rocking his C uh, SCX 10.3. Or 10.3, I think. They, yeah, they have like three generations of these things. We got Waterfall in the background. Awesome. Perfect, perfect build. I love the exoskeleton. I'm not too familiar if this is completely stock or not. It looks modded to me. Maybe you built this. Maybe you didn't. Could be totally wrong. But either way, super sick photo, dude. Great, great location. I bet this was a ton of fun out there. Got some meaty, meaty tires on there. I don't know what's stuck and what's not, but you've done a good job, whatever it is. That's that's sick. Nice job, dude. Love the photos. Love seeing people out there just crawling and having a good time. What do we got here? Two-tone and some rust. Let's get it. All right. Ooh, I like. Is this? This must be. Yeah, okay. It's, fo it's faux rust painted on there. But at a distance, I couldn't tell. I thought maybe you got some metal and just put it on there that was already rusted. That's sick, dude. Another Lego driver. These guys are perfect scale for these things. Got some painted rims. These are, these look like they might be the stock rims. Yeah, Needle Grapplers. I bet these are the stock wheels that came on either the Jeep or the Deadbolt. Um, I don't think they come on the, the truck. Those are too big, but it looks like you got it lifted a little bit. Very, very neat. Love all the customized paint. That is just so sick. It really takes this thing and adds another depth to it, another level of depth. Very cool. We got anything in fun in the background? Let's take a look. I mean, art supplies, etc. You know, you got that going on. And the other side. Very cool. And I like how you didn't do the exact same rust pattern. You mixed it up a little. It makes it look more natural. I dig that. Very cool, man. Nice job. By Kind Championship 599. Awesome. Let's see, my short backyard course. So I don't have time to play all these videos and stuff and I never know what the audio is. So I'm not gonna play these. I am gonna watch them after this for sure. And if you guys are interested, anyone out there checking these out, please come check them out. They're really, really cool videos. That one uh, from last week, I think, uh, or maybe the week before, there, there's been a couple videos. They're really awesome and these guys are doing great. I'm gonna give you an upvote. I'm gonna check this out afterwards. Same thing here with this one, Katana Nexus. I'm going to check that out afterwards. And who is this one by? Sufficient Whiskey. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch these guys. These are going to be awesome. Little Jeep was... F Let's see. The Little Jeep has found a friend to get through more difficult trails. Oh, nice. You got the TRX-4 Defender with the Jeep on top, carrying them along. Both with some sick light bars. Looks like you got a couple other... Whew. Sorry, guys. Uh, you got a couple other modifications on here. A little bucket, this sweet big bull bar on the front. You got some lights down here along with the headlights. Very, very awesome modifications and customization on this thing. You got the Emacs servo. Nah, maybe it's not an Emacs. I'm not sure. But definitely a sick little custom Jeep. And then, of course, you got to put it on top of the big dog, the TRX4. Again, I don't even know what's modified on this. I don't have one of these yet. Working on it. It'll be here soon. Uh, but this thing... 
is dope. Love the setup. Love the background. This is a perfect backdrop for taking photos for stuff, especially if you're going to like, you know, post them somewhere. You don't want the background too busy. This really allows the trucks to shine. And I love that. I love the ones where you're out in nature as well. It's really cool. But for this, this kind of photo where you're just trying to isolate the trucks, get a good photo off and not distract too much. This is the one you got some underglow down here under the tires. Don't know if that's stock, but love that to light up down under here under the wheels. Great night crawling, especially with these blinding lights. Excellent. Excellent. Give you an upvote. Alexander noise. We got one by bull gear RC, my main man, bull gear. Nice. Didn't know you jumped on the bandwagon. Super stoked about it. And I just saw a video about this the other day. Super, super sick power wagon. He's got the suspension modded slightly uh, at an angle to get a little bit drop, a little bit lower. This almost looks like a belly dragger build. Very, very awesome. Super sick. The Proline Racing stickers, really good custom paint job. This thing is awesome. If you guys haven't checked out Bull Gear RC, check him out. He's got some really cool stuff. His C10 uh, unlimited budget build is crazy cool. This guy knows what he's doing. He, uh, he's got some cool stuff. I'm really stoked to see this thing on here. Parts pile power wagon. Yeah, that video is cool. If you're interested in building something like this, check out his video. This thing is so awesome. Got the white rims. We got the spacers for the wheels. That's giving me belly dragger vibes. I like that. This thing's awesome. Bull Gear RC. Check him out on YouTube. What do we got next? Katana Nexus, another one. We got a video. 18 seconds, you know what, we're gonna roll the dice. We don't have much time. I'm gonna keep it muted just in case, but holy crap, guys, check this truck out. Are you kidding me? Look at that thing. Got some limiting straps for the suspension. He's got the double barrel on there, super sick. Looks like he's moved a couple parts around, got wires everywhere. Super sick lights up top, some meaty, meaty tires, and I love the custom paint job. That blue pops. That thing is sick. I'm definitely going to see what he has to say about that. She got some more updates. <laughs> nice job. Katana Nexus again. Oh, is this the same truck? This can't be the same truck. Holy cow. Oh, geez, scrolling too far. Scrolling too far. This thing is awesome. Che hey, watch on YouTube. Check him out. Apparently, he has a YouTube channel. I'm going to have to have to check this out and subscribe afterwards. Uh, we'll watch this one later on my own as well. But if you guys want to check it out, you can come here or check out his YouTube channel. Or hers. I'm not sure. This thing looks sick too, though. This has some mods on it. I love the cut fender flares. I've been wanting to do that to mine, but I'm just worried that once I cut it, I'm going to regret it. But it has such a good, clean look on here, and he did a really good job. That That's awesome. Way to go. Another video. This one's by Paddock2012. Pod Doc, maybe? I'm not sure. Backyard SCX course first run. We'll give it a second. Oh, but that, that music. I'll check it out later. Very, very sick little course, though. Rock piles are the best way to start. Oh, here we go. Inside, inside fly. I think this is Ernie's RC or Aaron's RC. Er, uh, I'll find it. I'll, I'll put it in the... Uh, <laughs> when I edit it, I'll put the name. will pop up right now. But, oh, never mind. Big E's RC. Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel, too. Pretty sick. I think he's just starting out, but this course is insane, guys. He's got some WL uh, toys or WPC, WC, whatever that little white Toyota is. I have. He has a bunch of those, but his are modified with way better parts and upgrades. And this course is sick. He even has a, uh, one of the videos I watched, he has an underground tunnel that he dug out somewhere, somewhere around here. And in the video I watched, it wouldn't quite fit. Had to get the shovel out and make a little more room. But yeah, this thing is sick and it gets bigger every day. Go check him out. If you want some sweet crawling stuff, this course is gnarly. This is something along the lines of what I want to build in my backyard. I've been getting uh, some some tips from him and <laughs> some ideas. Very, very cool. Yeah, very cool. Check him out. Uh, let's see. Then I go for a rip. Five seconds. Let's let it rip then. Oh! <laughs> nice. That looks like a uh, TRX4 Bronco, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very cool. Let it rip and eat the fence. <laughs> Nice job, dude. Fun little clips. Love that. 34 seconds. Testing new Hobby Wing Axe. Hobby Wing Axe R2. 33 kV. Seeing how slow it will go. Let's see. It's a picture, isn't it? You're tricking me. I'm about to get Rickrolled. No, I'm just kidding. It's definitely moving, but damn, that thing is slow. 
That is some precision crawling right there, my friend. I need to check that thing out. Hobby Wing Axe R2 33 KV. I'm taking notes. Taking note. Man, look at that. That's what I'm hoping to get out of the uh uh Fury Tech for my little my little ones. Alright. CCRC Adventures, Father and Son, SCX24. I'm pretty sure this guy has a YouTube channel as well, if you guys are interested in checking that out. I feel like I've seen this blue, these dual blue painted uh SCX 24 is in a video that popped up in my feed. These are cool. The custom paint jobs on these things are sick. I love the blue. That really, really pops. I'm a big fan of blue, and this has a really good look. Super clean, simple modifications. Got that big star bit on the front. Dude, this is this is sick. And father and son, how cool is that? Getting them into the hobby. This thing's so insane it can climb trees. He did not put that there. It definitely climbed there on its own. <laughs> very, very cool, man. Loving the modifications, loving the customization on these trucks. You guys know how to take some sick photos. Got a school in the background. <laughs> Ain't nobody using those right now, so why shouldn't you? <laughs> All right. Whoa, too far. If you guys can hear me breathing in this real heavy or something, it's just because I'm talking way too fast, faster than normal. Oh, my God, let's go. Lord Strudel, my man. I don't know if anyone noticed, Red Bull Psycho. That's my uh, my username for everything. Video games, this, that. Has been since the original Xbox. Huge Red Bull fan. This guy right here knows what's up. This is like my dream Chevy right here. <laughs> got the Hot Racing Lynx. Got the uh, brass bar on the bottom here. Got some sick red to tie with the blue uh, shock towers. Going with the uh, Red Bull look, man. All you got to do is paint like half of this silver. Do a stripe across the side here. Do like the front or back silver. And you got yourself a Red Bull can on wheels, my friend. Super sick. Looks like it's got a little Alaska sticker, maybe? Alaska? Could be wrong. That is awesome. Love the wheels. Love the black rims. Love the wheels. This has just a clean, clean truck look. So sick. This, yeah, I'm stealing this. Sorry, man. You're not the only one with this anymore. I'm taking it. Also, uh-oh. Pokemon fan, get some! Must be my age bracket. <laughs> I'm a little old now, but I know what that ball is. I saw that from a mile away. And we got some underlighting here. Dude likes to throw parties on the deck. Good, good, good. Got the Red Bull, got the lights. Good to go. Lord Strudel. Nice job. Loving that one. What do we got here? Oh my gosh. Adorable dog. I'm a sucker for dogs. We got Error 420 or 3 RR double. That's Error. It's got to be Error, right? Got, uh, what is this, a grinder? Probably. I don't know. Let's take a look. Got the adorable dogs in the background. So sick. Got some serious suspension. Okay, so you've got, it looks like double barrel kinetic shocks, but you mounted them upside down. Not sure why. I've seen people mounting shocks upside down. I don't know what the benefit is. One of you guys will have to let me know in the comments what, if there's a, a good reason to do that. Because um, I've seen that before. It looks like you don't have any springs, so you got droop suspension. Gives you a lot of flex and kind of takes some of that uh, those problems I talked about in my double barrel shock video away got the 10 gram or 15 gram or whatever these are weights for the wheels super sick dude and again cut cut fenders modifying that chevy i want to do that i think i'm going to do that a lot of people are doing that got nice dual sets of lights very cool aftermarket servo looks like quite a few modifications very very cool man and this is a I think this is an SCX24, but is this a Charisma body? This is definitely the Ford Charisma body now that I look at it. I didn't even notice before, but this is exactly, yeah, this little box right here, this lifted box is where the Velcro is on these things. That fits really well. No wonder you cut the fenders. That's sick, dude. I didn't even think about swapping bodies on that thing. You drill some post holes pretty quick. That's awesome. Hang on, let's get another look at that. I didn't even realize. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice build, dude. Way to go. Nice job. Error 420. And here we go. Father and Son SCX24 Deadbolts. Jason's RCs. Let's check it out. This guy's got a serious collection going and a pretty cool course. I, I mentioned it in the last video, but you guys should check out his YouTube channel as well. He's got some really cool stuff. Look at this Deadbolt. Look at this custom stuff. Lights in the rack. Aftermarket rack on top to store stuff. Same over here with the lights, all the modifications, father and son. So cool, man. 
it's really, really cool to see people getting their kids into the hobby, keep that generation going of just having a good time. Oh man, we got another Sasquatch. I'm gonna have to get a Sasquatch. Everybody's got one of these. <laughs> very, very sick, dude. Love the little trio sticker, adds a little pop there. The red's got the deep dish beadlocks. You got the green trios to match the green. You got three tones of green here, but they work together. I like it. Sick, dude. Super, super cool. Photos from all angles. Ooh, with the lights. Look at that. Lights down here. Lights in the front. Lights up top. And it looks like the same for this one. In the front and up top. Man, night crawling for days with these things. So sick. Very, very cool. Nice job. Jason, keep it coming, man. You got some cool stuff. There, Katana Nexus again. Just flexing. Oh, okay, so this is the other Jeep. And maybe the, or uh, Chevy, sorry. And maybe it all was the same one. He just painted it in the newest pictures where it was blue and black. But love this. You got the, uh, the winch cable. I'm thinking that might be, that's what that is. It's supposed to look like a winch cable anyways, or a, a strap to carry it. Man, this thing is sick. You got this fully customized. Big old meaty tires. I love those. Been looking for a pair of those. Double barrel suspension, dude. Sick. Let's see. Still waiting on the light kit coming Tuesday. Still can't fund the rest of the brushless setup yet, but she's getting pretty pimp, I think. Lots of trio stuff scattered around. Double barrel limited and tuned. Pretty good. Fury Tech Lizard and Reese 99. What y'all think of her? I think it's dope, buddy. Super sick. Yeah, love this. Like, It's just kind of like dirty. You know what I mean? Like, not dirty, like, filthy, but, like, just dirty, sick looking. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. Got the uh, fish hooks or whatever those are. That's so sick. And I love that you chopped the back, too. It looks, like, a little lower. Yeah. What do we got here? Oh. 414 grams? 414.6, maybe? Dope, dude. Dope. Loving how much you guys are customizing these things. It's so cool. My JL build so far. Sufficient whiskey. Again, let's check it out. Oh, oh, not a down vote. What? There we go. Sorry, buddy. Got some green under light. Maybe that's just a filter, but it looks green to me. Lights up front. Lights here. On the Jeep. That light bar. It's pretty sick. Ooh, the green glow through the tires. I have to get some underglow, man. You guys are going to make me spend a gang of money to customize these things. Trying to keep up with you guys. Damn. Love that you took the decal off and customized it with this here. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. That's dope, dude. And you got a pretty, it looks like maybe some nice chargers and a pretty dope remote here. You got quite the collection of stuff, don't you? Hiding it from us. <laughs> very, very sick Jeep, dude. Very cool build. Here we go. Big E's RC. This right here. Oh, Big E's RC. Not all who wander are lost. I think, yeah, I think it's like a, a chunkier guy running an RC. I love that intro, man. That's so cool. I saw that on your the first video I watched from you, and I really liked it. Just thought I'd let you know if you're watching this. Uh, hey, it's Big E's RC. This is my B24KM on the bottom edition. Oh. On a new addition to my crawler course I built today. Yeah, he's got a bunch of these really cool, like, 16-scale trucks. Um, he's got that Toyota I got, but, uh, again, much more highly modified and a couple other things like this one. Really, really sick, and his courses are really awesome. It's uh, it's probably a lot of work to do that, but pretty, pretty dope. And if you watch his videos, you'll know he has a rooster somewhere. Whether it's his or a neighbor, it's there. <laughs> Jason's RCs, there it is. That's the missing photo from the earlier post. Okay. Yeah, watch the video on this. It was so sick. Love the baby digger. Keep on going, man. If anyone else out there is thinking about building one of these, go for it. I would love to see how many of us can get these baby diggers. It all started with Lyle from RC Athletes, and then now there's me, Jason, and there's probably some more people. I just haven't seen them, but if you got them, post them, man. That is so fun. Got the HGP 407-ish. Oh, is, uh, this is the one that I mistakenly said that I thought there was a rose decal on the uh, hood. It's not. It's not a rose decal. It's a purple purple pin. Don't ever make that mistake again. Okay, guys? Big, fat, stupid pig doesn't have flowers on his truck. They're hardcore. And it fell. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. Is that... 
Okay, so that, no, yeah, okay. So this side isn't white, which is kind of cool. It gives it like a Junker vibe, kind of just patched it all together. But this thing is super sick, dude. Very cool build. Love the leaf spring suspension. I would love to get some some leaf spring suspension on a truck. I, it's probably not the best for crawling or anything, but it just looks cool. It's such a sick touch. Very awesome. And back at this place that I thought was Australia, and it's not for the record. I was way off. <laughs> Let's see. Allian Jones, 541 Enduro 24. Let's check it out. Guys, we're pushing a long episode, I know, but you got so many posts. It's so cool. Oh, dang. Got the drop top Impala? What? What? SCX24 Impala. Now that is pretty dope. <laughs> Must be a model of an, an Impala or something. I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's an Impala. It looks like it. On the Enduro 24. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Got the bull bar in the front. Man, this right here just reminds me of my town. <laughs> There's a couple couple monster truck with car bodies around here. There's a pretty sick Corvette down the road, actually. It's all lifted for mud and stuff. I'm a redneck if you can't tell. <laughs> very, very cool. And Mini Z Belly Catcher. All right, Belly Catcher, Belly Dragger. I've been seeing this is real popular. There's a, there's a couple videos I've been seeing out there uh, for the big 10th scale ones that are doing belly draggers, and I kind of want to do a build like that. It's, it's really, really sick. This thing is awesome. Got the Kyosho painted all black blacked out with the rims got those rgt wheels on it got some brass hubs looks like dang i don't even have any upgrades on mine i bet that helps this thing's pretty top heavy out the gate i know that much this little thing looks awesome dude i bet you have a ball crawling with this thing so sick love the slammed look that is just aggressive as hell very very cool oh and this is the guy with the uh, the truck we just looked at okay nice dude what do we got here tutorial joe's micro crawler crawler course let's see hmm oh okay got some dude you got all kinds of stuff going on dang look at all these christmas tree arcade one up okay you got a mini arcade machine i've seen those before that's sick and then this thing is just wild and out of control look at that that's what i'm talking about you can build a course out of anything this guy proves it. Look at that, dude. Cardboard boxes and all, just spraying stuff, draping stuff over it. Sick, dude. This is like a post-apocalyptic crawling zone. <laughs> you got all the toys, too. Dang. Tires strewed about. Just killing it in the garage, man. Very cool. Love that it's a two-piece, too. You got this one that's pretty, like, tame, but still really cool and has a lot of fun stuff. And then you got this crazy thing, like a dragon up here. <laughs> <laughs> very sick dude very sick dizzy economics 5944 joe's micro crawler course i might have to check out and see if there's anything on youtube from this guy some pretty cool stuff that is awesome oh we got bull gear rc again here we go the c10 this is the uh he did a whole build on this there was no limit on the budget anything and everything you could think of to buy and he bought it surpass right here spectrum reefs pretty sure he's got the lizard in here or something because that's the uh that's the case for it yeah this thing he has so much invested into it and it is a sick little crawler these shocks right here are yellow too they're like internal shocks i watched the video about when you got those back a couple weeks maybe a month ago or so i can't keep track i watch too many of your guys's videos <laughs> but this thing is awesome if you guys are interested in seeing what a max budget rc can be check out this video there is some cool stuff you can do with these, and this thing's nuts. Uh, I think this might be the video where he crawled across Kansas or Kentucky or something recently. Took the Chevy out, and I think he might be a truck driver. He was uh, somewhere, but he crawled everywhere, and it was really cool. That, that truck is sick. I, I strive to have one that's that cool. What do we got here? Kind Champions 599. Got the, uh, is this the Rust guy? No, there's Rust on it, but this isn't. I don't know if this is the same one, but got the white walls. Dang! Painted the stock rims gray. Got the white walls on there. Got the canopy on there. And the scared driver. This is exactly what I picture on this Seafoam Chevy are some white walls. And I'm so happy to see it. That is awesome, dude. And you got the wood grain in the bed. Dude, full-on customization. That is so cool. Love the rust detail. Love the white walls. That is That's so fun.
I want to get some white walls. <laughs> I wish an RC company made some white walls. They should. Why wouldn't they? RC four-wheel drive. You watching? No, of course you're not. Check it out, though. 118th Panda Hobby. What'd you get? Got the Donko. The Ford Bronco Panda Hobby and the uh, old Dodge Power Wagon. Some Jason's RCs again. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this guy's collection is growing, and he's posting videos all the time. His course is sick. So cool. Love the Panda Hobbies. I'm a big fan now that I finally got one, that little white Jeep. I wasn't sure at first, but I've been having fun with it. Let's see. A-Rod's RCs. A few of my minis just installed the lights on the Charisma. Oh, okay, cool. I know it has slots for it. I've seen it on mine, but yeah, I, I didn't. I haven't bought a light kit or anything for it, but that looks good with lights. Like that Chevy looking sick with the lights. Looks like these might both still be stock, but still a ton of fun. Dang, you can't beat it. And then, oh, oh yeah, the Element RC. They they just came out. It's uh, it's uh. What is it? The new body Toyota Highlander? I think it's a Highlander body. Or it kind of looks like a Toyota Highlander. Maybe it's supposed to be a Forerunner, but it looks a little bulgy for that. But this is uh, the same as the Enduro 24. Oh, and you got the RGT as well. Very cool. Wait, is this the... No, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, still really cool. I thought it was maybe someone else, but this is awesome, man. Very cool collection. Got a sweet little set of trucks going. Very awesome. We got a Prime RC 6000. C10 going for a crawl. Ooh, okay. Let's check out the uh, the mods here. What do we got? Got a shovel. Looks like a little 3D printed shovel. Little pickaxe of some kind, maybe. Yeah, pickaxe. Got the pink rope. Got the, uh, what are these, ramps? And the whole 3D printed back half of this thing to hold it all. That's sick, dude. What do we got over here? What's this? R2-D2? No. <laughs> no. This sweet tire. And I love the uh, the crawling course, man. You got the little turtle shell cone things. So you can set up courses. Very sick. Love this, man. All the 3D accessories. There's so many cool 3D printed accessories you can get for these. These I haven't seen this rack, so this might be something he built or something he found. But that is awesome, dude. Nice build. Very cool. What we got here? Photo. Jason's RCs. Okay. I think we saw, well, we might not have seen this one, but I'm going to check that one out. It's two minutes long. Battle Island for my 124 scale. Oh, dang, we got a Gundam down. That is a Gundam, right? I'm a bit of a nerd, but it's been a while since I've seen Gundam. I'm pretty sure that's a Gundam. Got a sweet little, like, door jail cell thing here. Dude, this is some sick detail. Prime RC 6000. Got the little light overhang here. Got a little jail cell, some barbed wire, do not cross. Got a tire mounted into your course. Dude. Nasty. Nasty in a good way. Sick crawl. Dude, this is awesome. Got all this scale stuff. Looks like you might have a bridge down here. Oh, or like a broken off bridge. Gonna be able to crawl down here at some point. Dude. Heck yeah, what is that? Hold the phone. What? What? Is this a head? I thought this was like a little red hat. These are eyeballs with the guy that has like pimples or something. Some whatever these are, humidifiers, dehumidifiers. I don't know what's going on back here, man. Looks like you probably got kids or something, but this is sick. <laughs> very, very cool. What do we got? What do we got? Swan. Creepy house. Sick Gundam. Very cool, man. Such a cool build, too. Nice. Oh, here we go. Okay. So is this what it started out as? I don't see the the little shed or anything, but this is dope, dude. Look at the water feature. Okay, so you got a ramp coming up. Got the tire here. Got some, like, water river stuff. You can come up here to this broken bridge overhang thing. Got a sweet little cave with a crawl over. I bet that crawl up there is crazy hard, if you can even go up it. But that is super sick, dude. Whew. Awesome. All right, guys, we are pushing I, almost 30 minutes, probably. Okay, cool. We made it to the end. We did it. All right. Everybody got awesome posts. Thank you so much for showing me your cool stuff. I'm going to go back and watch those videos I wasn't able to play on here um, simply for time. And if we keep growing like this, I'm going to have to start doing this twice a week or something. 
or just making really long videos. But either way, I'm going to wrap it up because we've been doing this for a while. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Upper Left Submissions. I'll put a link in the description below. We do this every Saturday. It's continuing to grow, and you guys are building some awesome projects. Keep sharing the knowledge, keep sharing the posts, and I will see you guys tomorrow.